Welcome to this video session. So in this video session, we will be focusing on uh, demonstrating boosting method in uh, Weka machine learning toolkit. So as a learning outcome for this video, it has been planned that at the end of this at the end of this video, the the participant or the viewer would be able to describe the method to use uh, the ensemble method of boosting in uh, Weka machine learning toolkit. So let us see what exactly are this uh, boosting method. So they are usually a part of ensemble methods. So in this ensemble methods, when we talk about uh, what they are, they are nothing but it, they are the method and approaches to combine predictive power of several ML models into one combined ML uh, model. So these are usually meta algorithms used to combine several ML models in single one. And uh, the main purpose of here is to boost the performance of ML model over the data set. So usually these approaches typically work in two stages. In stage one, we create uh, multiple subsets. And in stage two, we aggregate the ML uh, models produced for each of the subsets into a combined uh, uh, final ML model classifier. So as far as boosting is considered, here the method of uh, creating subsets is based on uh, uh, here it, it's somewhat slightly different from the way it is done in bagging. So here the sampling is based on uh, the performance or the misclassification rate in the earlier sample. So the word itself, the booster itself going on the literal meaning of word boosting, it can be observed that here it, it keeps on boosting the performance of an algorithm from uh, one submodel to another submodel and in the end uh, we have a final uh, ml model which is a f which would perform fairly better than each of the submodel so let us see what exactly the boosting uh, is so the concept is uh, achieving better predictive capability by enhancing or training several weak ml models in a sequence remember the word in a sequence is important so the performance of one sub model on one uh, preceding subset decides what would be the subset and uh, what would be the ml models performance for the succeeding subset so this process is usually a two-stage process as we discussed in earlier slide so first produce average or acceptable ml models and subset of data then combine the ML models using cost function. Usually cost functions are some kind of voting or weighted or as some average based uh, uh, algorithms to combine power of all uh, individual ML classifiers produced during the process of boosting. So it's very important to note that in boosting, the subset selection usually affects the choice of data in the subsequent subset and models relevance in overall predictive capability. So a good example of boosting uh, is Adaboost algorithm. So which is based on the approach of uh, boosting method. So in a diagrammatic way, it can be represented that as you can see here. So we have an original data set, we have a, a sample generated, then we have some misclassification or the validation and this decides the next sample. Then we have another classifier built and this, this classifier is weighted so that in the end when we try to combine, so these classifiers are combined based on their weights. Maybe some of the submodels might poorly perform, some might perform better. So you want those, uh, the weights to be uh, included in final ensemble classifier. So this is a purely sequential one and uh, this boosts the performance from each submodel to the end. So ensemble classifier is fairly very, uh, robust and better performing classifier. So let us see a quick hands on. So I'll move to Weka uh, GUI. So let me discuss what exactly we're going to do is we'll open experimenter and uh, we will choose two data sets, which are segmentation challenge and Inosphere uh, data set. So if I want to show you what exactly this data set are, as you can see here, uh, this is your segment challenge. So you can see here, this is multi-class uh, classification problem, wherein uh, you can see here that I have num number of classes to be classified are more than one. So you can see that these are the classes in which I have to classify. This is uh, almost like image texture recognition. And you can see it is an Inosphere data set. And here, if you look 
here uh, it's a binary classification bng so it's it's an inosphere data set radar radar based phased array based value pulse data of signals where we have to guess whether there is uh, an object or not so that's how it's a binary classification so what we will try to do is here so on weka gui classifier we will uh, create an experimenter we will put this both the data sets and uh, we will compare the performance of uh, a simple decision tree based classifier with boosting and without boosting and we'll see if uh, this difference is statistically significant or uh, or do we find any difference between the performance of these two ml models one with boosting and one without boosting so i'm opening an experimenter dialog so here as you can see i need to first uh, create a new experiment uh, for the sake of this video i'm not going to save the results but i will use cross validation with 10 folds and i'm implementing a classification task i will first add the two data sets from the weka data catalog so the first thing i wanted was segmentation challenge which is the multi class classification problem and i'll add another data set so we are adding two data sets on two data sets we'll be repeating this ml models one with boosting and one without boosting so the another one which we discussed was inosphere data set so i am adding this inosphere data set here then now we have a two data sets so here i want to iterate as an algorithms first and i want to repeat it for 10 iterations maybe maybe we can call it as 10 epochs so now i'll add the two algorithm the first thing i would like to add is a decision tree classifier without any boosting or bag boosting uh, method so i would prefer the reduced error pruned uh, tree which is a fast learner let me choose it again i think i missed it so it's a yeah it's a fast decision tree learner you can even use j48 because j48 and rep tree both both are they are based on c 4.5 algorithm version uh, i'll keep them uh, the options default i'll not change anything but if you're interested to what they mean uh, you can click on more and you can read them so as you can see it is all based on c 4.5 so this is the algorithm this is just a simple decision tree classifier now i am want to compare this algorithm with a uh, decision tree classifier but with boosting involved so what i'll do is i'll click add new and uh, here so i'll go to meta class of uh, classifiers and they we do have ada boost but instead of ada boost i'll see if i can get any boosting one okay so i think this is the one which i have so i'll i'll add add a boost so this is a boosting uh, approach but i will choose the base classifier here we have decision stump but i will change the base classifier to the uh, reduce error pruned fast decision tree learner algorithm right okay so rest all i'll keep same i'll not modify anything as you are always free to check here and read the description but uh, i'll keep it default for this video and i'll click okay yes the base classifier is this and i am applying boosting with the help of ada boost so now uh, i need to run this let me go to run tab and let me click on start as you can see here it is going through various iterations so we need to wait for few seconds so that i can uh, complete this uh, iterations across algorithms yeah i think we are about to complete it okay so we done and we do not have any errors so now i'll go to analyze and now i'll load the results of experiment so i'll click on this experiment button it loads the result of whatever you have run in the run dial run tab here now uh, here i want to compare the performance between these two models the first one is a base uh, decision tree and algorithm based classifier and a one with boosted a boosting with same decision tree classifier algorithm now you can see here i want to usually compare them based on f f major which is f1 score now i am setting the significance of this t test see see this this is actually does a t test on this 
and the significance value here is it's a double tail version so you can get this value in any statistics 101 course so significance value i'll keep it as 0.5 and then i'll perform the test so once i perform the test i can now see the difference so for the data set segment which was multi class classification the base uh, uh, decision tree classifier i gave me 97% based on f1 major and the boosted version has almost given me 99% of uh, accuracy in terms of f1 major for inosphere which was binary uh, i could see 85% as a base but boosted version i can see 95 Uh, based on these conventions, I can see that statistically this is far more significant. So V stands for victory here. So here the t-test has clearly pointed out that a boosted version of this uh, REP tree decision-based uh, decision tree-based algorithm has performed significantly better than non-boosted uh, algorithm version. You can see here this is clearly shown that this is a victory and it is uh, significant. in terms of this uh, t test so the, i hope you understood what how exactly the boosting improves the performance and uh, even in uh, industrial applications these are very famous ada boost is very famous and uh, quite lot frequently it is used in uh, various algorithms i hope uh, this is clear with this so let us go back to our ppt so Uh, as a quick summary on the reflection of this video uh, the if i ask you a question can boosting be demonstrated in weka so you can pause the video and you can recall the answer what exactly the answer of this question could be the answer for this question is true yes so whatever we have seen right now in the experimenter where we have chosen ada boost and we added rept based the decision tree classifier as a base classifier and we could see that the even the comparison was statistically very significant so that itself indicates how powerful the boosting approach is so this is the bibliography for this video and uh, that's it for this video thank you